Welcome to part two of Printix's Best Practices series. During this episode, we'll be discussing how we can extend the scope in a direct IP print scenario. This means adding more computers to Printix Cloud by installing Printix Client onto those computers, discovering locally installed Printix from those additional computers, and then consolidating the print queues we have discovered afterwards. During our last best practices series, we took a look at what happens when you install Printix client onto a computer that is already running print queues. In that case, we had these two printers discovered and the printer queue was inherited from this computer and put into the Printix cloud. Now what happens when I install Printix client for this tenant onto another computer that is running printer queues pointing at the same printers, but with different queue properties, queue names, presets, etc. Let's take a look at this by installing Printix client onto a laptop. This is Joe's laptop, and we should see printer queues that Joe has been set up with pop up in Printix cloud. So there we go. Printix client has been deployed to the laptop and Joe's printer queue has popped up right there. The same has happened for the brother device. Down here is the printer queue that we've discovered on Joe's laptop. Again, we now manage this print queue so I could pop into this and change the print queue name, etc., which would have impact only on Joe's computer because currently this printer queue is only discovered on Joe's laptop and we are only modifying that instance of the printer queue. So this is why you would see several printer queues appear as you roll out Printix clients in your environment. Let's take a look at the printer queues over there. And we'll see for the printer called ASD, we have the initial printer queue that we discovered on this computer. And now in addition, we have Joe's E460DN sitting there as well. We can see that this printer queue is installed only on one computer. If I click on this, I'll actually see which computer this printer queue was populated from. And let's just quickly do that again. On this one, I can see it's installed on two, which means this one has been highlighted to add automatically. So I'll see that this is actually installed on Joe's computer as well. There we go. This is the current machine we're looking at, and this is the laptop that Joe is working on. So because the printer queue is highlighted to automatically deploy, this printer queue is installed on Joe's laptop in addition to the printer queue that Joe was running before. Now, if I wanted to, I could consolidate this and clean up, which means I'll just filter by ASD. Let's imagine I don't want Joe's printer queue remaining on that laptop. I just want everyone to be using this printer queue that was initially inherited from this computer. I could simply put the tick in the box here and click on the bin and confirm that, which means I'm now deleting this printer queue out of the Printix cloud. So it's gone and it will also delete it off of that computer it discovered it from. So now we are left with one printer queue for the, uh, for the Lexmark E460, and it is installed on two computers, which is my main desktop and Joe's laptop. So I hope this helped you understand how printer queues are populated into Printix Cloud simply by installing Printix Client onto further computers and how to clean up afterwards and come up with a unified environment for every user. And as always, take a look at the little question mark. It will point you into the online manual based on where you are in the product. So in this case, I'm now in the computers and the printer queues. So it's going to tell me how to add print queues to computers. When I click on this, I go straight to the online manual explaining exactly that. I hope you found this helpful and I'd be glad to see you next time. Thank you.